Super Metroid is arguably one of the greatest video games of all time, and Samus Aran is definitely one of the most unique female protagonists to come from a Nintendo franchise. She was originally designed by Hiroji Kiyotaki and then upgraded to the various suit by Tomoyoshi Yamane. Yeah, I probably mispronunciated their names. But if you ever wanted to learn how to draw this sleek and powerful design, you came to the right place. I'm artist and gamer the Navywood, and today I'm going to show you how to draw Samus Aran from Super Metroid. To get started, you're going to need a few things. A pencil, an eraser, and a pen. And of course, the paper you're working on. I like to add basic shapes before I start doing any actual detail. And those of you familiar with my work know that I love circular shapes. And lucky for me, Samus is made of mostly circular shapes. So to start off, I'm going to get a couple of ovals to set off her body and the base of her hips. Once those are laid in, we're going to use three circles to lay in her head and her shoulders. We go now we've got a pretty solid core to work with so we're gonna add some limbs first I'm gonna start with her legs to do that I'm gonna add some cylindrical objects coming from the sides of the hip shape thing and from the cylindrical objects connected to the hip shape thing we're gonna add some little circles at the bottom of that yeah more circles <laughs> wouldn't you believe it Beneath those circles, I'm going to add this sort of oblong teardrop shape. I just keep it nice and rounded, because you know me and circles. Now, drawing feet isn't as difficult as some people make it out to be. I personally like to draw them with a combination of either triangles or diamond shapes. We're going to connect your midriff to her hips, and then move right onto the arms. Drawing the arms is basically the same concept as drawing the legs, only they end with hands instead of feet. Or, in Samus's case, one of them is an arm cannon. And that's going to give us a pretty solid underdrawing to work with. From here, it's time to add all the juicy details. You don't have to be precise as to what the actual armor and stuff looks like, but try to make it close. The second big step in the process is to lay in the inks. This for me is usually just tightening up all the janky lines I might have made during the pencil process. Fill in any flat black areas that I need to to really make the image pop. But other than that, just put on some music and enjoy yourself. The final step in the process is the coloring. Coloring like the inking phase is pretty straightforward. Just choose a color palette and stick to it. Well, that's gonna about wrap it up. If you liked what you saw, be sure to hit the like and subscribe for more how to draw and retro gaming goodness. Well guys, until next time, go out there and level up.